Hi, I'm Robert Osborne for the Movie Channel. Oscar, Oscar, who's going to get that Oscar? Well, it's that time of year again, as if you hadn't already noticed. Hollywood's going to be handing out the latest batch of gold-plated statuettes on March 29th to, well, nobody knows for sure right now, maybe to Denzel or to Clint or to Al, maybe to Emma or Susan or Catherine. The only thing for certain right now is that here on the Movie Channel, there's no need to move your dial all month long. We have a whole batch of Oscar winners for you. In fact, four weeks of Academy Award winners, every day at noon, uncut and commercial free. No overacting allowed, of course, just perfect, pristine work. 20 samples of the best of the Oscar winners since Hollywood began the whole wild, crazy game of statue mania. We're starting our movie channel salute to the Oscars with a nod to great directors. Without the great men and women behind the cameras, there would be no great work on camera, believe me. A perfect example, Treasure of the Sierra Madre. That's the film that won John Huston an Oscar as the best director of 1948. Now, it's a film with that Houston stamp on every frame, from the performances of Humphrey Bogart, Tim Holt, and Houston's father, Walter Houston, to the film's savage theme of greed among the male animals. After we say we've got a couple hundred ounces, it'll be a nuisance carrying little bags hanging from our necks, and each of us will have to hide his share of the treasure from the other two. And having done so, <laughs> that'd be forever on the watch that his hiding place is not discovered. What a dirty, filthy mind you've got. <laughs> oh, no, not dirty, not dirty, baby. Only I know what kind of ideas even supposedly decent people get when gold's at stake. Amazingly, for all the powerful John Houston films before and since, this is the only time he ever won an Oscar for direction. And during our salute to Oscar's great directors, we'll be showing the treasure of the Sierra Madre, among other Academy Award winners by the likes of David Lean, William Wyler, and Kevin Costner. And what would movies be without superb leading men like Gary Cooper, Burt Lancaster, Frederick March, and Jimmy Stewart. We'll also salute those Oscar-winning gents in their award-winning roles, including one of the most unforgettable male performances ever put on film, Robert De Niro in Raging Bull. That's a harrowing 1980 movie about boxing champ Jake LaMotta. This is a performance that was first talked about because De Niro went so far as to gain at least 50 pounds, going from rock hard to rubbery. The real thing, no fake padding. No one know the way. I would much rather. And no one know Olivier. If he fought Sugar Ray, he would say that the thing ain't the ring is to play. Other mob stories premieres Tuesday, March 9th on HBO. Next on HBO.